Hey, it's David. Let's talk about oil codes and just what is it that they mean? Oils are designed for different purposes. You can find them in a number of different places, for example, in shaft drive, in gearboxes, in transmissions, and in the engines. So there's a variety of applications. Some applications, it needs a thick oil. In some applications, it needs a very thin oil. But oil is very temperature specific. If you warm oil up, it gets thinner. If you cool it down, it gets thicker. The oil code tells you which are thick and which are thin. It can range from really thin oil, like uh, 10 weight, right through to very thick oil, like 90 weight. And if we listen to them, sounds like water, sounds really thick. So what do these numbers mean? Well, this is a standard measure. And what they do is they test how fluid oils are at 100 degrees. There's no particular meaning to 100 degrees, but it does represent an average working temperature of an engine. Now, a racing engine will be very much hotter than that. Um, a low speed diesel engine might run much cooler than that but that's what these numbers mean so this means that 100 degrees this is still very thick and sticky and so that's what it's designed to do at 100 degrees this is really thin and fluid but some oils are multi-grade what is multi-grade what do we mean by multi-grade You'll see it because it'll have two numbers. So it'll say something like 20W50. So that oil has two different properties depending on the temperature. It's a special bit of chemical engineering which allows the oil to be thin when it's cold and yet be thick when it's hot. Now this one you can see is 75W140. So when it's cold, this acts as a 75 weight, but when it gets hot, it's really, really thick because this is an environment that gets really hot. This doesn't just go to the 100 degrees. This may go well beyond that. Um, so although this might be 140 at 100 degrees, at 150 degrees, this might act as the same 90 weight oil that we saw in the other bottle because hotter becomes thinner so this is 140 at 100 but as it gets hotter it will become thinner and it's a gear oil so we need it to be thick so why does it matter well quite simply engines go from being very cold when they start to being very hot when they're running now when you start up an engine, that is the point when the maximum amount of engine wear occurs. And one of the major reasons for that is because there is no oil in the engine. It's all drained down to the bottom of the engine. So the first thing an engine does is it tries to pump the oil back up to the top of the engine. And to do that, if the oil is thin, it'll pump up much quicker and that's why we have what are called multi-grade oils so what that says is at cold it will be five weight but 100 degrees it will be much thicker it's just how they formulate the oils to get the protection into your engine the different types of oil are formulated to give protection to your engine across a particular range of temperatures. Now what you see, each of those covers a slightly different range. The ones at the bottom, the ones that have the low numbers, the 1030 and the 1040, they go down to minus 20. So they will protect your engine down to minus 20. 
So when you're deciding which weight is appropriate for your vehicle, you need to look up a chart like this and have a look at the temperatures that are applicable to where you live. If you live somewhere that's really quite hot, then a 2850 oil might be perfectly suited to your engine. But if you were to use that oil and try and use it in, say, Alaska in the winter, when the temperatures are way down here, that oil will be too thick. Because as we know, as it all gets colder, it gets thicker. So this will be too thick. It will not be able to provide the lubrication your engine requires. So you've got to choose, depending on where you live in the world and at the time of year, what are the appropriate weight oils for your engine. So that's all there is to the SAAE codes on oil. It all comes down to how thick is an oil designed to be in its environment. If you're somewhere hot, the oils will be thinner. If you are somewhere cold, the oils will be thicker because that's just the nature of oil. So you need an oil which is designed to be of a particular thickness at the temperature you're operating in. So thanks very much for watching and uh, I will catch you guys again soon.